Right, so in the previous video, we have uh, created this uh, very basic LaTeX document. And now let's see how we can create these uh, title pages, abstract uh, chapters, and other uh, sections. So, uh, first, uh, let's start creating our title page. So, in order to create a title page, first you have to specify the title page configurations. So, here simply type title and you can give it a uh, necessary title for it so for example i will give it as report title but uh, based on your requirements you can give whatever title you want and uh, once uh, you have uh, entered the title configurations then you have to create title page so in order to do that simply type uh, make title and Compile your document so it will construct this title page for you. Right, so you can see that the title report title is there and the last compiled date is also there. And uh, if you take a look at uh, your uh, latex template PDF, you can see that the PDF also has been updated as well. Right, so that's how you can create the basic title page but uh, let's add more features for it for example let's say if you want to add the author name simply type author and give it the uh, author name as well and compile it again right then you can see that your author name is visible at the title page and uh, uh, Let's say you want to add some sort of author description as well uh, below this author name. So in order to do that, uh, you can specify it as two forward slashes followed by the uh, specific author description, right? So these two forward slashes uh, tell LaTeX to go to the next line, right? And if you compile it again, you can see that now the author description is there okay and if you wanted to add uh, some sort of styling for this text you can wrap the entire text by the necessary text formattings such as let's say uh, test it so it is stand for text italic right so we will discuss this text formatting later on but uh, for now just for the demonstration purposes i will use this text it and if you compile it again you can see that uh, the author description is now kind of italic text is there right so that's the main styling uh, for the title page and uh, here you can make comments as well so in order to uh, specify comments just simply use this percentage sign and uh, type whatever comment you want so i will say title page and compile it again then you can see that the comment won't affect for the compiling process right so your source weaver doesn't showcase this text inside this document right because it's a comment right so that's how you can create uh, title pages and now let's create an abstract as well so i will name this as abstract page and in order to create the abstract, first you have to begin it as an abstract, not an array. You, know. you have to begin it as an abstract. So begin tag and end tag will be added automatically. So within this two um, situations, you have to type uh, uh, within these uh, two. Uh, segments you have to type whatever abstract you want so i will simply type some sort of dummy text over there and compile it again then you can see that now we have the title page and the abstract uh, so i won't uh, type you know a very long or descriptive abstract because i just wanted to demonstrate the features of latex right so instead of typing the bulk text i will uh, generate some sort of uh, random text by using this uh, lorem ipsum dot io so here uh, we can uh, generate the paragraphs sentences 
and even worse uh, by using this uh, lorem ipsum parallel right so i will simply copy this random text and replace this line and compile it again so now i have an abstract so likewise you can specify any number of paragraph you want and compile it again and uh, you can see that that paragraph has been automatically added and also the tab space is there right so that is the main reason of uh, using latex because it automatically add these sort of uh, default stylings for you right so you don't need to uh, waste uh, your time uh, to predefine this stuff as well right because yeah, in underline latex will handle all of these uh, basic stylings of your documentation Right, so that's how we can add an abstract and uh, now let's see how we can add uh, chapters and sections. So again, it is quite simple. So I will name this as maybe chapters and sections. So in order to add a chapter, just simply specify the chapter tag and uh, you can give it a name as well. So for now, I will give it as maybe uh, chapters and section chapters and section and compile it again so you can see that the chapter is there and uh, usually a chapter is followed by several number of sections so let's add a section as well and let's give it a name maybe sample section one and compile it as well so you can see that the sample section is there and uh, i will simply add uh, this random uh, lorem text as well as the content of this sample section one and compile it again then it will be used like this so likewise you can add any number of sections in your document so for now i will add maybe three more sections and name it as sample section two some stuff well section 3 and build it again right now i have three sections of these uh, chapters and sections chapter and uh, likewise you can add uh, whatever number of chapters and sections you want in your document and uh, usually if you add these sort of chapters and section you will you need to add a table of content as well right so in latex actually you don't need to construct uh, this explicit table of contents uh, so what latex do is it uh, by default it provide this uh, op option called uh, table of contents this uh, feature called table of contents so now if you compile it uh, what happen is that it will automatically add this table of contents right so it is super easy and simple to deal with uh, these sort of stylings by using latex and uh, i will maybe make a comment as well so later on you can refer the comments uh, as well so let's say table of contents page right so that's how we can add the uh, table of content and uh, inside sections you can add subsections as well so let's say i want to add the uh, subsection within this section 2 all i have to do is type subsection and i will name it as maybe sample subsection 1 or something like that and let's give it a another random text right uh, so i will use this paragraph and paste it over here now i have a sample subsection inside this sample section too and if you take a look at your table of content here you can see that okay we have the previous uh, section details right so just simply build it again and go to the table of content then you can you may be able to see the sample subsection one inside your table of content as well so usually whenever you add a new section or chapter or subsection uh, make sure to build it twice uh, then those necessary titles will be appeared in the tables of content 
right so likewise you can add whatever number of subsection as well so i will simply add another more maybe three subsections and name it as sub for subsection 2 and some for subsection 3 and compile it again right and inside the table of content now you can see that sample subsections are also there <coughs> and inside these sample subsections or sections you can uh, go for more granularity uh, such as uh, sample subsection subsection 2 right so uh, yeah a lot of granularities are there uh, so let's say sub subsection and I will name it as sample sub subsection 1 and let's give it a random maybe sentence and copy that out press it over here and compile it twice yeah so you can see that uh, our sample sub subsection is also there but uh, if you look at the table of content uh, by default they won't show you such a sub subsection inside the table of contents uh, because it will be uh, kind of uh, messy there right so the, by default the latex table of content will show you the chapters sections and subsections right and if you really want to show these uh, sub subsections you can uh, modify the default styling as well but uh, for now i will keep it as the default style right so that is uh, how to uh, uh, have sub sec uh, sub subsections inside your document right uh, so likewise you can create any number of chapters sections subsections uh, based on your requirement and uh, yeah that's all i wanted to showcase in this tutorial and uh, we'll see more stuff next and uh, yeah, thank you.